All right, Forest fans, Max Newton here on Talk Forest TV. Hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Let us know what you think of Nottingham Forest 1, Arsenal 2. Um, I was really, really disappointed with the way we set out to play, to be honest. Um, quite frankly, we didn't try and win the game for the first 80, 85 minutes of the game. And, you know, if you give, although Arsenal struggled to break us down and we were compact and all of that, but we were at home. We didn't we didn't get in their faces, we didn't close them down. Um, you know, if we're playing low block or all out defend and try and hit teams on the break, we need fast people on the wings and up front. And we had Chris Wood up front. I love Chris Wood, thinks he's been doing brilliantly, but he's not pace up front. We had Nico Williams on the right, we had a right back playing right wing, and we had a, a midfielder playing left wing, a right foot midfielder playing left wing. So we had no out ball, um, you know, whatsoever for playing that. Um, we conceded possession. We played like we did against Bristol City in the cup, where we just sat back and defended and gave them the ball. And I tell you what, Luton, uh, Sheffield United won't play like that. Everton won't play like that at home to Arsenal. Arsenal aren't that good. They're not top of the league. They're not walking away with it. West Ham have beaten them twice. There's no reason to play like that. I think that's the worst performance. You know, they're a good side. That's the worst performance I've seen under Nuno, where I just think we didn't, we were just passive. We didn't try and win the game. We didn't try and enforce our personality or our style of play on the game whatsoever. Um, you know, we defended well first half, they defended really well. You know, they didn't have a decent effort on goal, didn't have a decent opportunity, so we restricted them. But you've got to do more than that at home. You know, we did more than that at home when we defended and hit teams on the break under Steve Cooper. This was a massive regression performance for me. Um, you know, Tyro looked lively when he came on. Great to see Tyro back. Great to see Alanga back. I thought, I mean, I'm going to do much, but I thought Tyro looked lively and caused them some trouble. Put himself about. Scored a nice goal. Um, and, you know, shame on all the, all the fans near us that left with about five minutes to go before end of normal time because... You know, Forrest pulled the goal back and you could see Arsenal were rattled, but we couldn't quite, you know, you know, we had some we had a corner, we had some crosses, um, we had some half opportunities and, you know, ne never leave a game early is what I would say. What's the point? You pay all that money for your ticket and then you leave and possibly miss. You know, I live in Sheffield and uh, work with people that went home on the 90th minute, the last home game, and they missed uh, two sending offs and... Uh, and a penalty and the and an equalising goal. Um, thought the defence played pretty well. Um, you know the the defence played very well. The first goal was you know the far end from us with Trent End, but um, it seems to be a, a just a Matt Turner mistake. Another Matt Turner mistake. We desperately needed a new goalkeeper. The goalkeepers we have are shocking. They're clowns. The pair of them. Um, and then Montiel, you know, just gave the ball away in a stupid position. Plenty of time. You know, with too many passes going astray. And, um, you know, Arsenal hit us and, and cut us open. Um, you know, we, we, we just can't defend and play all out defence and sit and sit and sit against a team like Arsenal and not expect us to make a stupid mistake or Arsenal not to do something really good and score. It's just not going to happen. Um so yeah, really disappointing. Like I say, I think other other teams will play differently and we'll try and get in the faces of teams like Arsenal. I didn't like the way we set up. I didn't like the way we played at all. Um, you know, the Brentford game, um, Brentford away game, I liked the fact that we we did more pressing and getting in the faces of them than I think I've seen in any away game all season. And then we had Bristol City away and that at home was just passive and poor, poor, poor. Um so yeah, on to the next game. We need to pick up, we need to do better. Luton are fighting like beavers um, for their Premiership, Premier League lives, and we need to start doing the same. On the positive side, cheese and beetroot cobs, absolutely superb. Big up Mrs. Newton, back on the salty, peppery cobs and uh, quality slices of beetroot and some nice vegan cheese. So enjoyed by all the boys um, in the trend end. Um, keep the faith. Come on, you Reds.